First off, I want to say shout out to everybody on the, you know, on the channel. Shout out to everybody out there. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. And uh, let's just enjoy this day and enjoy our families and our time. And I appreciate our time here. If you uh, if you're listening right now, leave any comments. I appreciate it. You know, Cali Take family. We're always tight. We're always close. We always keep the community alive and keep it going, you know. So shout out to everybody who's listening right now. And let's just have a great day and rock with some sports and have a good time and enjoy the festivities. Now, let's jump right into the business. So when Ty Lue was asked about Kawhi and PG, he said that there is no timetable. Now, you can read this on ESPN.com. You can get more insight on it if you choose to. But, um, of course, we know that uh, uh Kawhi Leonard just had a right uh, ankle uh, sprain a little bit uh, when he came down um, off of uh, trying to get a rebound or a block from the previous game that he played, which doesn't which is not serious, you know, really at all. Just uh, maybe a few days rest or something like that, about a week's rest, give or take. You know, he'll be right back in action. Um, now, Paul George, I'm a little bit concerned about because this is a hamstring tendon uh, issue I was reading or, or a tendon strain or something like that with the hamstring. So, you know, his timetable is really... Really, I thought it was really no return for his timetable once that had happened. But I figured maybe it'd be like a week or two weeks or something like that, even with his situation. But you never know. As I said, the Clippers are trying to be overly precautious with these two stars because they know they need both of them to be present if they're going to try to win a championship. And that's just fact. You know, you really can't do one without the other. You need both. It's almost like, you know, a sandwich. You know, you can't have a sandwich without the you, you can't have a peanut butter and sandwich, peanut butter and jelly sandwich without one or the other. You got to have both. I mean, some people prefer one but you know both is always better because it's balanced and the same thing same logic goes in this situation that you know paul george you know does what he does Kawhi Leonard's the best player when he's healthy and um you know they just balance each other out in regards to they balance his team out in regard to the balance of power and the, the type of strength they have in regards to the superheroes they have on this team which both of them can really really cook when they are both at their at their strength and at their best so we definitely hope to see them uh, at their best very soon and back on the court very soon now I will say the Clippers team the way they are constructed they can win a few games they can string together a couple of games at least, you know, a couple of wins in the meantime, simply because they have, you know, so much depth in every area. And Norman Powell, to me, honestly, that dude is a walking bucket. I mean, he can probably drop 30 points a game if they actually put him in the starting lineup. I just, I mean, I just know he can. He's just that type of scorer. So they got a score uh, in Norman Powell they can rely on every single night. Terrence Mann got defense. Luke Kennard can shoot that three. Uh, hopefully he'll be back in the next game or two, hopefully, but we'll see how that, that turns out. I was hearing that he should be back by the next game but you know uh you know so to me like i said it might be a few games in there rather than you know rush him back because you know like i said you know it, you don't want no injuries to linger or anything like that but regardless they got him you know reggie jackson starting to play better or was starting you know playing better since Kawhi leonard had returned and you know john wall you still got john wall you still got him who can go out there and push the pace and you know get his 12 to 15 points and give them eight assists a game and people are not really realizing what John Wall, what comes with him, he can give you 12 to 15 points a game right now. But imagine when he really gets chemistry with everybody on this team, he'll be dishing out 10 or 12 assists probably, you know, when he really get going and really get used to the culture and really get used to where everybody likes their shots, where everybody likes, you know, to um, where, where everybody likes their spots. 
And it'll actually allow him to play a little bit even more freer than what he does now, because once he learns everybody else's sweet spots, he'll just pick his spots and pick and choose when he decides to, you know, do his thing and score or and distribute the ball at a high level. So, I mean, that they're, they're 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 still in good position. You know, they're still in good contention right now. I think they're 11 and eight or 11 and nine. Uh, I think they're like the, the sixth seed in the West. So hypothetically, if the playoff star of the day, which it doesn't, they'd be the sixth seed. They'd actually be a playoff team, not a play in tournament team so that's good even though they've had their superstars in and out the lineups they're still you know keeping within that playoff range not even in the uh, playing tournament range but as I said there's plenty of time to go in the season and things like that but um, listen to Ty Lue about this I mean I'm not really concerned Uh, I I, like I said in my previous videos you know um, I want them to play I want them to be out there I want them to you know get that chemistry with the other teammates and everything because we know what Kawhi and PG can do let's just just be real we know they can go out there and cook it anytime they want to and um you know it gets concerning sometimes when you hear you know want to be out both will be out let's do this this and that but i'm really not concerned overall because i know they'll they'll flash their face and they'll come back on the court and they'll come back and play and and like i said just their presence out there just makes a lot a lot, a lot of things different you know what i'm saying so as we saw with Kawhi leonard you know he hasn't even really got his rhythm yet you know what i'm saying he's not even close to his rhythm right now i mean he, he's doing some good things when we saw him on the court but he's not at his rhythm or at his peak and they still went three four and oh with a a, a, a a ailing Kawhi Leonard or a Kawhi Leonard that that's I shouldn't say ailing but a Kawhi Leonard that's not even at his full strength they still were undefeated with him in the lineup that just shows what type of presence he has and of course, you know, when Paul George comes back, you know, he can, you know, he can definitely, you know, play, you know he, he can definitely hoop as well. No doubt about that. So we're not really concerned about the two stars. They don't really have nothing major going on. But I just think the Clippers are being a little bit precautious. And like I said, this is holiday week anyway. So, you know, maybe December 1st, December 2nd, you know, something like that. Maybe the following week after this one, you know, you'll see more, you know, you'll see them both back in the lineup, I believe, you know, somewhere around that first week of December or something like that, you you know, uh, let them, you know, be off for the holidays, get a little bit of rest, rest up, you know, rest their bones, you know, I uh, guess we'll get a little bit of treatment and keep it going. And, um, you know, just keep keep at it, you know, keep working hard, keep your head down and just, you know, work as hard as you can. And I think that's the, the motto. I think that um, both players in Kawhi and PG should have. And I think that's the model. I think the Clippers are trying to adopt. You know, I spoke to some people yesterday. In regards to, you know, uh, both of them and the team and certain things like that. And then the environment and everything is still good. Spirits and everything is always still high. And uh, they still have aspirations to do exactly what they're set out to do is win a championship. But getting everybody healthy is my main thing. I hope that they can do that and sustain that because sustaining health is the hardest part. You know, getting healthy to get back on the court is one thing, but sustaining it is very, very difficult. So I just want to see this team do it. I just want to see this team get to a finals and see what could happen and see them take it to take it the distance go all the way. I want to see Kawhi get another championship. I want to see PG get a championship. I want to see Reggie Jackson get a championship. I want to see everybody on this team really prosper. John Wall, you know, because these guys have been through a lot. You know, Kawhi's had the opportunity to have two championships under his belt, but I'm pretty sure he would love nothing else but to add another one to his resume. So, of course, you know, we got to push for that too. So, but these guys work hard and these guys have been, you know, um, in the trenches the last couple years and I understand that Ty Lue, you know, wants the best for everybody and he really wants to do his uh, due diligence for this team but Tyloo has to understand too his coaching has to elevate as the season goes along with the players and you know um, the sustainability of their uh, being on the floor and being healthy is a huge thing but also like I said his coaching play has to elevate and I believe it will you know I have faith in Tyloo I don't I don't you know I, I've, I've you know I've criticized Tyloo but it's good criticism when I criticize the Clippers it's good criticism it's not bad criticism it's just criticism in regards to what I see that they can improve on and um i know they will improve on it but um as i said i think everything will be fine i'd say maybe in the next week or so you'll see Kawhi and pg you know around that time like i said uh, if they got a couple games in between which i believe they do one or two games here and there um you know i believe the clippers will definitely you know sustain and be okay like i said just put the ball in norman powell's hands right now because that dude cannot it seemed like he can't miss sometimes it seemed like he is just an absolute beast on scoring i mean hell honestly the way he plays sometimes I feel like they should put him in the starting lineup you know with Kawhi and PG in there and just let him cook along with them other along with Kawhi and PG and then they'd be unbeatable if they had Reggie Jackson or somebody that coming off the bench 
and stuff like that having that type of scoring off the bench you know but that's another story for another day not saying that's going to happen or anything but that's just an option because they got so much depth i mean it's got to be something that ty Lue has even pondered in his head because they got so much depth but um i think everything will be fine no issues there um like i said it says no like i said ty Lue said no timetable for Kawhi leonard last week and Kawhi leonard played the, the, the day after you see what i'm saying so you know you got to kind of take that with a grain of salt a little bit and just kind of look at it like okay maybe he doesn't know anything but he, they're leaving it up to the players to decide when they want to come back and want to give it a go and the medical staff is um you know trying to you know make the right decision for the team as well so um i think everything will be fine no need for panicking or anything let's just uh you know go through the motions of the next game or two and see how it goes and then wait about a week or so and i think you know both of them will probably be back around then and then we'll see you know how it um how it all start unfolding for them and what type of sustainability they'll have going forward but hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check my other videos if you haven't. Also, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't either. And uh, hey, till next time.